In this tutorial, I'll share five hidden elementary features that you need to know in 2022. Let's get started. So the first feature is to copy Flexbox container layouts. You can see this container has a horizontal layout and this container has a vertical layout. If I just want to copy the style, you can quite easily do that. But before that, you have to make sure that Flexbox containers are turned on if they're not already on. So go to your dashboard, click on Elementor and under settings, click on experiments and make sure that Flexbox container is turned to active and click on save changes. Also clear your cache in case you have to. So once you do that, you must find Flexbox container. I've already made a lot of videos on the channel. Check them out. So I can simply right click on this container which has a horizontal layout and I can click copy and the containers don't have to be similar. So in this case, both of the containers are essentially the same. They have the same kind of elements, but even if they have different elements, this will work. So right click on the container you want to copy and click on paste style. And just like that, this container gets all the properties of this container. See, it's that easy copying layouts between containers using Elementor Flexbox. All you have to do is to right click copy and right click on the destination container and click on paste style, right? You can also reset style if you want it to revert to back or you can also command Z to undo the action. So whatever you like it, right? So that's the first hidden feature. Now the second hidden feature is to copy Elementor image mask style. So you, if you click on an image and this applies to basically any widget that has a masking option, you can see if I go to advanced and go to mask, I've selected a mask, right? So let's say I choose circle for this. I can simply right click on this, copy the mask. I can right click on a similar element and click on paste style. And just like that, the mask style is also copied. Again, this is another handy feature that you can make use of and not many people know about this. The third feature I want to talk about is to extract colors or the global colors from your images. So if you're a photographer editing in Lightroom and you don't have to define colors specifically. So let's say this is my image. I can click on this hamburger menu, click on site settings and I can simply choose my global colors based on the image. So there are basically a couple of colors in here, right? I can click on the color. I can click on the color sampler. And if I click on this image, you can see that the colors are automatically extracted. And just like that, I can pick my global color and I can also pick secondary and all the other colors based on my image. All you have to do is to click on the color, use the color sampler to extract the colors from your image. So it's that easy, right? So this is highly handy if you have a predefined editing style and you don't know which colors you have in your image, you can simply extract them and put them in your global colors and you can apply them across your website. So that will look very consistent across all the elements on your website. Again, another handy feature. And don't forget to click on update once you do that. Are you using another form plugin? And do you want to have the same styles defined in your theme styles applied to the form? Well, it's quite easy to do that. So let's say you have a third party plugin. In this case, I have a third party plugin on my website called Forminator. It has a ton of features for free and all you have to do to make sure that this is working is click on settings and make sure that the plugins settings or appearance, right? Click on appearance and choose none. This will basically inherit all the styles from our theme. In this case, it will inherit all the styles from our theme styles, which is what we want. And don't forget to click on update and whatever changes you make to your form widget using the global styles or site settings will apply to all other third party plugins. Let me show you. So again, go to site settings, go to form fields. And if I change my background color to maybe this color, you can see this third party plugin is inheriting all those just like that. See that change the background color, change the text color and refresh the page if you don't see the changes and applying forms across various third party plugins is that easy using site settings. All you have to do is to make sure that this setting which overrides the basic style sheet of your form plugins is turned on. That's another handy feature that not many people know about. 
Speaking of form plugin, if you have Elementor form enabled or if you drag the Elementor form widget which comes with Elementor Pro into a page, under actions after submit, if you turn on this collect submissions, all the submissions made into this form are automatically saved in your WordPress dashboard. Let me just make a sample submission. Again, I'll just click on send. Now this submission will be saved and I can view all the submission in here. So let me refresh this page. I'll just reload this page to view my submission. It will be under Elementor and Submission. Just make sure that that option is selected. Now I don't see my submission. I have to clear my cache because this is essentially being cached, right? I'll purge the cache and that way I'll get my submission back. So just like that, see that? So all the submissions made on this page are automatically saved based on the form name that you've given or you can also base filter it based on the time submitted. So it's that simple collecting submissions and viewing them and responding to them. So those are my top five hidden features that you need to know in 2022. But there'll be more tutorials like this. So subscribe and stay tuned. Peace out.